Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to a bloody quick way through Dishonored 2. We're on to our final Marco episode, chapter 9. We're gonna. From such a background. Yeah, we're gonna go well. and murder Delilah. So let's start a briefing with Sokolov alone for some reason. Now that we're here, I suppose you know where to go and what to do. You've killed a legion. So what's one more? If so again, deserves it, it's Sokolov's dialogue is also different so depending on what we do and how we handle my things. Age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. As I told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, but cunning and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. It's probably too late to dwell on regrets. Everyone feels some regret. Atop a long line, mine is now chiefly that I'm out of time. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, Anton. Yeah. We're not really on good uh, good terms with our allies now, and it's about to get worse, cause there's another big secret that needs to be uh, Megan is revealed. Deck cause Megan is indeed waiting for us on deck, so let's have a little chat with her. Back out. Hey, there you are. I wanted a chance to talk. Uh, you can't steal the key from her back here, which opens up the only room on the boat that you couldn't access before. I made a vow I wouldn't come back here. That was a bit weird. The skiff. I want to go to Dunwall Tower alone. All right. Do you know how you're going to kill Delilah? If you leave her alive, she'll come for you sooner or later. I'll do whatever's necessary. No one takes what's mine. Just make sure you don't hesitate. Delilah's dangerous. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, that is interesting. Delilah's a mad dog. She tore out a piece of her soul to get Ooh. away. What else do you need to hear? Aha. Uh -huh. So if you play this peacefully, this is the point where Megan actually talks about... So there we go, the castle, by the way. Talks about the fact that she is Billy Lurk, an assassin who helped out Doubt kill Emily's mother. Which I wanted to end this a bit by just, you know... Since we have a good reason to kill her, just, just kill her ass. I never trust you, with all you know. There we go. I'm actually wondering, since we're doing this really bloody, can we actually kill Anton Sokolov as well? Oh my God, we can. You've seen too much to live, Sokolov. Holy crap! You can actually just kill your allies all at once. Can we actually open up? No, it's not that room. It's the room over here. Oh, yeah, right, we left the key on the corpse. Oh, yeah, the corpse just... The corpse just... Oh, no. She's stuck with her... Oh. I'm sorry about that, Megan. You know what? Let's just toss you over there. Yes, very respectful towards my allies. Let's just open up that room and gather the supplies in there. Just as a last uh, thank you from uh, murderous Emily towards her allies. So, two more bone charms, which we haven't been using this entire playthrough. And then, of course, her assassin mask and a pearl fan. You can listen to her regrets and then, of course, Billy Lurk. Uh, but, yeah, we don't really care about her regrets anymore because we just murdered her ass. So, let's take the skiff and go to Dunwall Streets. If old Samuel could see me now. So, Emily has completely turned into a psychopath. So, back in Dunwall, where the first Dishonored played out, and we're starting and ending Dishonored 2 in the same place. Take me to Dunwall Tower. Bring me back to the cage of my own chest. Oh, I will. Delilah will be made mortal again. You let your mother slip into oblivion. Do you know where my mother's resting? In a child's coffin, her skinny legs tucked beneath her, because I couldn't afford proper burial. While my father rests in the Imperial Crypt, 
You're lying. You still can't accept it, little girl. Your father was born a nobody. I inhabit your mother's heart, and my body walks the halls of your crumbling palace and sleeps between your sheets. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that you only deserve to keep your throne if you're ready to roll out a red carpet of blood before it. We'll be face to face soon, and I'll end you, Delilah. Wow, I must say that the dialogue is completely different depending on whether you, uh, you're a nice person or not. Now we need to be careful, there's dogs up here. There we go. One dog down. And now I think the rest of them are just lining up right. So if I just go slowly, I should be able to just take out the dogs. There we go. One dog down, and then the other one... Is looping to the left and we can hear somebody singing which is creepy enough Let's just get the gun out because I think yeah this is our final black market we can actually check Step out and see what I've got. so this was a bar at the beginning but uh, yeah right now it's a black market so we get a lot of upgrades which I should actually no I'm just gonna fill up my crossbow well, supply done. first I'll take that deal so we're ready for that. Maybe one or two incendiaries, another stun mine. Just having the goods delivered here. And two spring razors. We're full up on that. And I don't need the key to the city watch arm. Although, you know what, let's just get it. And then we can check out the upgrades. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. So we masterworked our crossbow, so we better do that for the gun as well. So what do we need? All of that, seven upgrades. I'm not gonna be able to do that, I think, with 3,000 coins. We just have enough to actually do that. Bullets are fired in rapid burst, magazine size set to three, improved accuracy, reduced area of effect, spread damage range, or the pistol chain feeds ammo and never needs reloading, semi-automatic semi firing. So the spread is reduced, but we can fire in rapid bursts, or we can, I don't even need that, to be honest. I would rather just buy the explosive bullets. Enables the black market shops to sell bullets that explode, fragmenting. Ooh. That's even cooler, but that leaves us with not that much money to actually buy those. And then we have, yeah, explosive bullets 50 each. So we have three of those. Okay. We could as well just spread out everything. Um, and that's it. Last black market, so now we can actually, we're free to just use up all of that, because, you know, we're in the last level, we might as well just clear everything out. So there's one more dog walking around here. Is it still over there? Yeah, it is. There's actually a lot of dogs. Usually I don't take the lower routes, just because it's easier to go up above. There we go. Let's kill that. And kill that one. There we go. Oh, there's something behind us. Okay, so we have crossbow bolts. That should be it. Yeah. Do I get my, my crossbow? Nope, I don't get it back. I think if I recall correctly, there's one witch up there. But this first area is just to show you what happened to Dunwall itself, because it's it's a really big mess right now. With a lot of dogs just strewn around, but I think even shame. half of them are dead. Yeah, this one is dead, so let's just move on. Because it's not just the people that are dead. There's like a whole lot of overseers here that are also just completely murderized. Because the Abbey was trying to get uh, tower to get back to Dunwall Tower. There we go. So this being the final level, it is of course a big level. There's four areas to this. So we did just the first one, the Dunwall Streets. And now we're heading into the courtyard of the castles. So let's just fill this whale oil tank over here to get the power going again. So that fills it up with whale oil, and then we can use that as a power source in here. Bloop. And push the button to open up the door. There we go. So, uh, not even only the overseers are dead. 
also the rest of the guards are just brutally murdered around here so that saves us a bit of work and we only need to get through well the corpses um if i recall correctly so yeah the next area is filled with plant monstrosities created by delilah but there's an easier way to get past this area and it is to just get up here to the side and we can just bypass the plants by going over them. A tactic we'll be using a lot in this level. Because, uh, yeah, it's, there's not really a lot of fun in just murdering plants. Which are, yeah, those grotesque tentacles. There we go. Just moving up. And now we see a whole lot of soldiers and overseers just completely turned to stone. Just indicating how powerful Delilah has become. Because, uh, yeah, she's taken over the entire building. And slowly moving our way forwards. I think I'm just gonna put that there. What's going on there? And then just slowly move around the corner. Get the crossbow ready. Let's see if somebody reacts to that. So we killed two more witches there. And I think a dog. Oh, wow. Okay, that's one of them. And there we go. Counter-attacked. I think there was something... Something saw me behind us. So that's another one down. And then we can grab it, 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 grab it. Okay, we're going through our crossbow bolts rather quickly now. But we're also almost where we need to be. And the courtyard is just filled with witches, which is what makes this a bit annoying. I think we should be home free now. And, I mean, we did murder most of the witches. Wait, where's the dog that's normally guarding this place? Okay. Okay. Let's not ask silly questions and just go in. Because this is the, the way I, I usually like to enter the building. Just through the sewers. So getting closer to Delilah into Dunwall Tower proper. Let's head up the chain so we can get into the building itself. So let's just jump. There we go. Then we get another rewiring tool which we actually can't carry anymore. So let's just unbar this and open that up so we need to get into the elevator but it's broken down so we need to get I'll towards to the, the security, security room, room. Restore electricity to the tower and get the elevator working uh that sounds like a hell of a lot of work because of course the security room is on the other side of dunwall tower uh and this is a bit creepy but there's a there's a few bone charms on that course but if you try to approach that we're gonna get ambushed by witches so let's I can do use the elevator to let's not her. do that but we can get to the side here and that gets us into the sewery bit and if i recall correctly we can use this area to get higher yeah so we can use this area to go up into the rafters a bit and i think we can do that by just jumping and there's one more witch up there. Another mystery. Just gonna wait until she turns around. There we go. And let's just climb up and in this direction. There we go. So we're in the kitchen right now. If I just keep moving, should be fine for now. There's a few things in the hallways. But if I just keep going, should be fine aside from the one clockwork soldier that's over here. So that's why we still have another stun mine. We can use that to take care of the clockwork soldier. And then pick up a few supplies that are right here, apparently. Didn't know that. Okay. And that was counted. No. Ooh, knife in the face. Okay. I think that's it, because there's only two witches in the halls. 
if I recall correctly, of course. I think that's it. Yeah, so that means we have a clear shot towards the security room, which is just down here. Now, another thing that happens here is that if you actually fix the stuff that's broken in the security room, because they just wrecked the building, which means that the electricity is down, which causes the... Um, yeah, because it's just the, the, the elevator to not work. So let's just get the spring laser down because we're going to lure a few witches down here if we activate that. And there's a whole lot of rewiring tools. And I think that's just because I don't think you even need a rewiring tool. You just need to fill up another canister and replace the one they just broke. There we go. And I think those two that are going to spawn are always spawn and are not those two that were in the hallway. Yeah, there they are. There they are. Let's just wait until the spring razor is activated. So the spring razor is right there. Okay, that was stupid. Is the other witch gonna come out? Because I don't think it killed the other witch. Yeah. Hello! There she goes. There she goes. There she goes again. So that's all we needed to do. So now we can take the exact same route back and get to the elevator. So back down into the flooded area, we can get through this door back into the center room, which is now lit up a bit. As you can see, there's also a dog just sleeping beside that corpse. You just need to circle around here slowly. I don't know why this room is actually lit up. Oh yeah, of course, we just activated the lights. Dum dum. Okay, so now we can call the elevator, but of course this game is full of surprises and we're gonna get ambushed again. Um, I think I'm just gonna put the stun mine down here. Because I don't think... I think we're done with the clockwork soldiers. So let's just get on top of here. Or is it just a door? Oh, can't these things get stunned? Oh god. Heal, heal. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's slow down here for a second. Is that it? Nope. Skull. Skull. Fuck off. Jesus Christ, where the hell did those come from? Because I knew there was one in the elevator, but the other things were... Yeah, I kind of made a mess of this room. But yeah, let's just keep going. That was painful. So, throne room. There we go. That's where we wanted to be. Look at me, just holding a sword and a grenade. Everything we need. Uh, there's a lot of rewiring tools in here, just for no reason. And there we go. The rooftops, which is actually pretty easy. And die at my hands. Okay. So we just want to cross the area over here. And the last time I did this, I could just cross without anybody seeing me. Because I think they're all pointing in the wrong direction. So we can see the Lila over here slightly through the walls. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. And if we go to the side of this area, because there are a few witches here. Um, I think we're pretty much safe, although it seems pretty quiet. Might be that they're only just up top. But it's time to finish this, because we're right next to the throne room. And there's, of course, a window open here on the sides, which is a... Uh, which has been, for all three of my playthroughs, the entryway into the throne room. Because it gets you right behind the Lila for some Still reason. Lila done to my throne. So, if we approach her, we can just stealthily use the heart on her. And put her soul back. My spirit returns. By the way, this counts as stealth. For some reason, this does not count as a detection. So, the Lila is working on a painting that she wants to use to change the world in its entirety, not just Dunwall itself. Uh, we can see Corvo on the left there, reaching out. And there goes the heart, since it has fulfilled its purpose. And now we can just go through the painting. So Corvo, we'll be back for you in a second. Let's go into the painting. So the other way we can actually take care of the Lila is that she 
Um, we can make some sort of skull that we can put in the throne. We can then take her out and put her in the throne, which would lock her inside of this painting forever. So this is the world as Delilah sees it, or wants to see it. So Delilah on the throne and everybody just praising her. Now, the game is trying to trick you here, because it tells you that Delilah is the one over there, but that is not Delilah. Delilah is... Uh, well, there's a few Delilahs in this area because she has a few copies of herself strewn about. Because I think there's one, yeah, there's one right over there. And then there's one on the left, one on the right, and there is a few down there as well. And you need to kill all of them before Delilah appears is what the game wants you to think. Because if you go just around here, I think it is just the same way we entered the building. I think we can actually just... Hmm, I'm going to have to find my way up here. There we go, clambering up, clambering up, clambering up. As you can hear the noise going louder, and it's not just a portal from the painting. Um, there we go, keep going up. And then we have the real Delilah over here performing a ritual. And I think we can just, because if you try to take her out stealthily, the, the copies just uh, appear all six right here on the stage. But I think if I just murder her ass right here, we should be fine! Goodbye! There goes the Lila Copper Spoon. And she's dead. And that's that. That's the Empire ending of the game. Needs one Empress, Delilah. So let's just uh, make this a, a grand gesture and just uh, toss her off this. Oh. Okay. That was that was anticlimactic. Ooh, this looks cool. Goodbye! End game. So there we go. Delilah dead. Brutally stabbed in the back and just snapped her neck without any bit of talking. Okay, kind of almost murdered myself there. And now we need to just get up on the stairway here because we can still, the copies are still alive apparently. We just need to go up the stairs and back through the painting to go back home. There we go, going towards the ending. And let's free Corvo from his predicament. Hello, Corvo. Let's heal you up, buddy. Here's your murdering psychopath daughter. Mother. Emily, what happened? Let's sit down. I'll explain it all. Yes, let's explain how you killed half the country. So 17 kills, 10 detections, so we're just into assault. Sadly. And there we go, flesh and steel, and that means we get the Platinum Trophy! Dunwall Days and Nights completed! Ding 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 ding! Trophies for me! And now we got a After recap of everything we did. Supernatural enemy, the Empress and her royal protector saw a ferocious ally in the Abbey of the Everyman, who at long last began to enforce unrestrained righteousness across Sir Konos. So no ruler means that the abbey gets full reign of everything. All, with the death of Delilah Copperspoon, her coven lost its power and was smashed. The disastrous coup brought to an end. The rightful empress once again seized her throne. And so it was that Emily the Vengeful rooted out the last of those who had betrayed her and ruled over her empire with her legendary father, Corvo Atano, standing by her side. Look at that, she looks like a proper psychopath there. So, there we go. That's the ending of this honor 2 and the ending of this little series, A Bloody Quick Way Through This Honor 2. So thank you guys for uh, watching me rambling my way through this uh, game at a quicker pace. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next series. I don't really know what I'm going to do after this just yet, but I think by the time this episode airs, we might be getting close to uh, to Gwent finally releasing. On PlayStation, that is, because on uh, PC it must have been released already by the time this episode airs. So, um, yeah, look forward to that, and who knows what else is on the horizon for this channel. So thanks again, and honestly for watching, and see you guys in the next video or series. Goodbye!
sang Until the early ships sailed And when morning bells rang Only then we exhaled The sands of Circonos, they're burning in the sun. And the grapes from Calero are withered and finally done. Now we cower in the alleys of streets where we did stroll. While the Duke claims our riches and his firing squads patrol. We run and hide. Until the evening ships sail When the night is black Only then we exhale to a whaler and maybe we'll escape.